In this segment, we're going to find out uh, how to do numerical differentiation for higher order derivatives. So for example, let's go and take an example. That's how, what do we want to be higher order derivatives that we have already looked at how to numerically differentiate uh, first uh, uh, for the first uh, derivative to find f prime of x given the function f of x. How can you find f prime of x? So let's suppose somebody wants you to find out uh, an approximation for the second derivative of a function. How do we go about doing that? And we're going to use Taylor series to find an approximation for the second derivative of the function. How can we numerically find out the second derivative of a function? So if we look at uh, the Taylor series, uh, the Taylor series says that uh, I can give you the value of the function at some other point. If you can give me the value of the function at x, you can give me the value of the first derivative. You can give me the value of the second derivative. You can give me the value of the third derivative. You can give me the value of the fourth derivative, let's suppose. And so on and so forth. I can give you the value of the function at any other point. So if you know the value of the function at x, you know the value of the derivative of the function at x, the second derivative of the function at x, third derivative, fourth derivative, and all the other derivatives. This is infinite uh, order of derivatives you need. Then you can give me the value of the function at some point uh, h ahead of x. Of course, all these derivatives need to be defined and continuous between x and x plus h. Uh, only then it is possible. Uh, so we're going to use this uh, Taylor series expansion to be able to find out what the uh, numerical uh, formula would be for finding the derivative, second derivative of a function f here. Now, since I have this, I know that if I, instead of x, instead of h, I put x minus h, I'll get this. I'll get f of x plus uh, f prime of x times uh, minus h, right? Then plus f uh, double prime of x times minus h uh, squared divided by 2 factorial plus f triple prime of x uh, times minus h q by factorial 3 uh, plus f four derivative of x times minus h raised to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial, and so on and so forth. So if you look at uh, this particular formula here, so I want you to pay close attention to this formula here. The only difference which I have done is that instead of h, I have substituted minus h from this formula here. So we had this formula written for uh, x plus h. Now what I did was I took, uh, instead of h, I put minus h. So what happens in this particular formula here is that you're going to just substitute for h, you're going to substitute minus h, and that's what you're going to get. Now what I want you to pay close attention to is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two, uh, these two equations here. I'm going to add these two equations. So what's going to happen is that this is going to be added to this, this is going to get added to this, but there are certain things which are going to cancel. You see this is f prime of x times minus h, and this is f prime of x times plus h. So when I add the two equations, this is going to cancel with this. However, this is not going to cancel with this. The reason why that is so is because minus h squared is h squared itself. So when I add the two, they're going to get added up. Same thing what's going to happen here is that I have h cube here, but I have minus h cube here in this part of the formula. So that's going to get, uh, that's going to get uh, added together and it will become zero there. So uh, having, having said that, let's go and see that what happens when I add the two equations. So add uh, the two equations. This is what I get. I get f of x plus a x plus h plus f of x minus h is equal to 2 times f of x. And the first derivative term gets, um, uh, gets uh, canceled. Then I have f prime of x times h squared, because those two terms get added. And since I have two factorial in the denominator, but I'm adding it two times, so that cancels that. And then uh, I'm left with the plus f. Uh, uh, the third derivative terms get canceled out, so I'm left with the fourth derivative term, x divided by uh, 4 factorial times 2 times h to the power 4 plus so on and so forth. So that's what I'll be left with. Uh, so I'll have the uh, zeroth derivative term, which is f of x, 
the second derivative term, and then the fourth derivative term, and then I'll have the sixth derivative term, and so on and so forth. So you can very well see that this is 2 times f of x plus f or double prime of x times h squared plus the order of the h to the power 4 terms. So what I'm trying to basically say is that the if I bundle all these terms which are left off here, h to the power 4 term, h to the power 6 term, h to the power 8 term, if I were taking more terms of the Taylor series, then uh, uh, the order of those terms is simply h to the power 4. So I have 2 f of x plus f double prime of x h squared plus uh, the terms which are in the order of h to the power 4. Now I want to rewrite this, so let me rewrite this on the next board here. I'll get f of x plus h plus f of x minus h is equal to 2 times f of x plus f double prime of x times h squared plus the order of the h to the power 4 terms. Keep in mind this is order of h to the power 4 terms. Now since I wanted, uh, since I wanted an expression for f double prime of x, uh, what I'll do is I'll get f double prime of x is equal to, I'm going to take this to the left hand side and divide this also to the left hand side and divide by h squared. So I'm going to get f of x plus h, which is this term here, minus 2 times f of x term, which is right here, then f of uh, x minus h term here, right here, and um, I'm going to divide by h squared uh, here, because that's the h squared here. Then I'll have the plus of the order of h raised to the power 4 terms. It doesn't matter when you take it to the left hand side, because the negative order of h raised to the power 4 term, but it's still order of the h raised to the power 4 term divided by h squared. So what I find out is that f double prime of x is approximately equal to f of x plus h minus 2 times f of x plus f of x minus h divided by h squared. So if I uh, leave out the terms of these, then it is then it's just the first uh, three terms here divided by h squared. That's the approximation for the second derivative of the function. Now this here, because I'm dividing order of the h raised power two, four terms by h squared terms, this becomes of the order of h squared. This becomes of the order of h squared. So since this becomes the order of h squared, what that means is that the, amount, the accuracy of this formula, which we just derived here, will be of the order of the square of the step size. What that means is that if I double the step size, the error is going to get quadrupled. Or if I have the step size when I am conducting this, uh, using this particular formula here for the second derivative of the function, um, then it will get quartered. Uh, so that's, that's why I continue to take this term of what the order of the terms which are left over are, because that gives you an indication of uh, the accuracy of the divided difference formula which you are calculating for these derivatives of a function. So that is the uh, that is one of the uh, approximations, one of the numerical differentiation approximations for the second derivative of a function. And that's the end of uh, this segment.